Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see another brand new video. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you know every time that I upload a new video. Right now, I'm actually trying to upload Sunday through Thursday every single one of those days. So be on the lookout for videos coming Sunday through Thursday on my channel. Some days I get tons of cleaning done. Other days, I just do one thing, and you know what? I'm happy either way. Today, I'm extremely excited because a few days ago, I actually spilled, no joke, an entire Diet Coke on my mattress. It was all kinds of like cartoon crazy, and I was just, it just happened. So accidents happen in your home, and what do you do? you spill Diet Coke all over your bed and it leaks right into your mattress because you just moved and you were, didn't put your mattress cover on yet. Yeah, that's my life right now. So, so this did happen to me and I knew a couple of years ago that I had used a mattress cleaner that worked really, really well, but I had a different kind of mattress, kind of more of a traditional regular type mattress that was a pillow top mattress. The, what, the mattress I have right now is a more like memory foam kind of mattress and it worked phenomenal on that as well. So whatever kind of mattress you have, I swear this will work. Honestly guys, it was just a random pin that I found years and years ago. I remember doing it years ago and wanted to try it again because who wants to have Diet Coke stains all over their mattress? So yeah. So without further ado, let me show you what I was up to today and how this Miracle Mattress cleaner actually works. So first off, we actually have to make the cleaner. I know that sounds super intimidating, but it is not. It is super simple, super easy, and it's an easy thing that you can just make and clean your bottle out and make as needed. You don't need to keep it like under your sink or anything. So the first thing you do need is you do need one cup of hydrogen peroxide, you need three tablespoons of baking soda and a drop of Dawn dish soap. Super easy, right? You put all of this into your spray bottle. I actually ended up buying a new spray bottle because um, with moving, I just didn't know where my other one was. And you put it all in there, shake it really good so the baking soda, soda actually dissolves. But other than that, you're good to go and you can start spraying it on your mattress. This was actually the pin. So if you guys want to screenshot this, I wanted to add it in two, and it's so easy. So this is a super easy, simple process. Nothing too complicated. Take your one cup of hydrogen peroxide, pour it into your bottle. I actually use a little bit, like a little funnel, because I just feel like it's easier and I had it on hand. And then I just take the three tablespoons of baking soda, put it through the funnel as well. It doesn't dissolve right away and it was kind of hard to um, get through the funnel so I had to shake it a little bit, but it was easier than making a mess for sure. And the baking soda doesn't dissolve right away in the hydrogen peroxide and if you let it sit, it'll actually kind of clump up. So if you see that happening, you just kind of have to shake it, let it dissolve again and you'll be fine. So as you can tell, this is a really simple, easy process, and we'll just add a little drop of Dawn dish soap, put the top on our spray bottle, and shake it a little bit until you can't see any of the baking soda in clumps, and then we are good to go to go upstairs and spray it on my dirty mattress. I bet you cannot wait to see that it is something else let me tell you so a little bit of this process is that we're just going to go upstairs and we're going to spray it where the stains are nothing hard about that no big deal and when we go upstairs and sh you'll see that we just spray it where the actual stains are I didn't show you guys close-ups of the stains because they were just gross and I just was super embarrassed by them but it worked phenomenally we just 
sprayed it on. You want it to be really saturated, really wet, and just let it stay there until it dries. We just let it stay, stay all afternoon, no big deal. And then my husband actually vacuumed the mattress, which sounds funny, but you'll have kind of a baking soda residue on your mattress, so you just want to vacuum that off, no big deal. And it wasn't as bad on the memory foam as I remember on the other mattress, but we still vacuumed it really well, and then we poured out the solution. I actually left the solution on the counter, and it did make kind of a mess. I don't know if it was a chemical reaction, but you don't need to keep your solution or anything like that. Just pour it out and make it as needed. But you cannot argue with these results. You can't even see any stains. It's like completely brand new, completely white. So let me know if this works for you and how you guys love it because this is a game changer for me and I love it. I love that it feels fresh and clean and I love that the stains come up so easy. Thank you guys for hanging out and I will see y'all in my next brand new video. Bye for now.